Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. Today we're going to be visiting a little lay of the land inside the forest that really isn't part of its natural birth. We're going to speak a lot about the erosion in future episodes because the erosion was really doing damage to not only just the land, but to the trees, to the beautiful natural grass, to even the rocks. I'm standing in front of a big rock right now, maybe 12 feet long, four feet out of the ground. But it wasn't there when we moved into this forest in 1992. That's how much we have lost with erosion. In order to slow this erosion down, I felt it in my heart that maybe it was time to get ivy, some sort of land plant that would withstand the pressures of the rains of the southern sky. But I didn't go to a Lowe's or Home Depot to get this this ivy. What I did was I went over to an area of Charlotte over on Carmel Road because a good friend of mine, all she talked about was how much her grounds were just overtaken by this ivy. And I said, man, that's what I got to have. I got to have this ivy. But this ivy has, it's a very deep green with layers of purple and blue. It's not like the typical ivy that you see climbing a tree. This ivy likes to flow with peace on the ground. And it's been here for so long, and it's withstood the test of time, which is the rain that's coming down so hard here in the south, especially when we have these tropical storms. But if it's still here in the chapters after me, just know in your heart that this ivy came from a different area, and it found a place of survival inside this forest. Not because of me. It's because it had to make an agreement with everything that is natural in this forest, from the tall pines, the oaks, the elms, and even what we have here, which is the trees, and even our slow dancing trees that were blown halfway over during Hurricane Hugo in the latter part of the 1980s. It's all presented in a way where the artist says, use your imagination. Use fewer words and more inner energy to envision why this forest is not perfect, nor will it ever be perfect. But if you use your imagination, you'll be able to hear the music that is brought by the slightest of breezes. They will be cool at times. They'll be extremely hot. Just know, no matter how strong the southern storms, be like the ivy, cuddle the ground. I'm Errol. Thanks for being a part of the conversation.